Hi, how's everyone? I hope y'all are all having a fantastic day. Today I have my Ipsy bag, the good old fashioned small Ipsy bag. I have been um, doing this with the Ipsy Plus for, I don't know, probably the past six months or so, but I did finally go ahead and cancel the Ipsy Plus. I just hadn't been, you know, real happy with it. I kept the largest and the smallest. I think I would probably always keep this small size bag because I do think that it is worth the $12 plus free shipping. So I've been getting this for years. Um, so we will just jump right in. Um, it always comes in this nice little pink mailer right here. And let's, okay, there's something. Okay, so that's all in there. This was outside and here is the bag this month. I think it is so cute. I love this little wooden ring. And the Ipsy Ultimate, um, I did already unbox that. If you didn't catch that, I will link it down below. But that bag was so pretty as well. It was big and it had the same theme, but it was like a cream and it had two zippers with these. And I don't know, I just really like the style of the bags this month. So, which I typically like the bags, I think. I don't. I don't think there's ever been a month where I'm like, oh, I just really don't like that bag. So anyways, okay. Like I said, this was outside of the bag. It would not fit in there. And this is from Space Case Cosmetics. I love the packaging. That is super cute. So let's see what we have. Okay, it's a highlighter. Um, this is a scene from Space. That is the shade, I believe. And there's the packaging, it's very big. I mean, this would last a really long time. So just kind of your typical, you know, light gold color. It would be the perfect shade for me. I'm not going to swatch this just because, I mean, I think we've all seen highlighters, you know, at this point. And I do have a ton, so that might end up going to someone else, but I don't wanna swatch it when I'm not 100% sure, so. Let me get, here's our card out of the bag and there's everything else. And the theme for this month is full bloom. So, okay, and we do have prices, so that is fantastic. We never know with the Ipsy, you know, if we're gonna get a card, if we're gonna get prices. So when we do, that is good. And that would retail for $9. This says it's a deluxe sample but the full size would be $9. That's huge. So, I mean, I don't know. That looks like full size to me, but it says that it's actually not. So, okay, I'm just going to dump everything out here. Next we have from Helios. This is a smart nail polish in Livin' Lovely. And I'm not crazy about getting fingernail polishes. Um, just, just not my thing. This is a very pretty shade, very, very pretty. Um, I know exactly, this will be going to my niece because she loves that pastel purple right now. Um, and this retails for $12.50. Of course, this is full size. It says it dries to a smooth gel-like finish, so it can last for up to 10 days, but you do not need a UV or LED light. So, you know, it's very pretty, I just, I typically just get um, the nail polish done on my nails, which speaking of, I did finally have to, you know, take off since we cannot go get our nails done right now. And I've just decided to let my nails recover for a little while because they are pretty thin. So that is why my fingernails are looking as bad as they do. Okay, next we have from Ahava. This is a 24 karat gold mineral mud mask. And the full size on this would retail for $58. And it, you're just going to apply it to your skin and leave it on for about 10 minutes and then wash, wash off. So just a, you know, wash off mask um, and it is sealed. So I'm going to leave that on. Um, okay, and that I'll use. Next we have from Aromatica. This is a Calendula Juicy Cream. And the full size on this would retail for $40. This is a moisturizer. It says it um, takes down redness and itching. And it is heavy on hydration, but feels super light with a water-like texture. So I might like this. I'm not too crazy on 
thick, heavy creams. And again, that is sealed. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I will say, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the line of product is like this. It goes here and it goes all the way down like that. So there's not a whole lot in here um, compared to the actual size of this bottle. And I do not see, okay, this is 0.7 ounces. So you would definitely get quite a few uses out of it. I'm just saying for the size of the bottle, it's probably only about actually filled to about right there. So, okay, now this last item um, is what I picked for the month. And this is from Koki Cosmetics Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in Light. And the full size on this would be $8. So it's an illuminating concealer. And I can't remember what the other choices were, but I love getting um, foundations and concealers in our bags and boxes. I just think it's a great way, you know, to try them without having to, you know, go out and splurge. Foundations can be a little bit high. So there's the shade. I actually think that's going to be really nice for under my eyes. It looks like it will be light enough. I will say it looks very, very thin. Um, so that will be interesting to try. And this is 0.2 fluid ounces. So, um, like I said, I'll be happy. I'll be happy to try that and see what we think. So anyways, that is all for the smallest size Ipsy for April. Again, I will link the ultimate down below just if you want to kind of see, you know, smallest to largest, what's the difference. That one is $50. And then of course they do also have the $25 Ipsy plus and that one you're supposed to get five full size items so in the plus you receive um eight full size and four sample this one i believe you're supposed to get five and they could be full size you know sample size whatever um we did get this full size and again this one said it's a deluxe sample but it looked like full size to me i mean that's pre pretty big size so anyways just a quick recap our nail polish moisturizer, concealer, mud mask, our highlighter, and of course, our super cute little bag here. So not too bad for 12 bucks. So anyways, let me know what y'all think down below. Please give me a thumbs up if y'all enjoyed and please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.